So I've said it multiple times before. If you're anything like me, you get home from a day of airsoft and you wonder how you can make your gun better. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a great way to do it. The good fellas over at Perun were generous enough to send me a bunch of their MOSFETs. We got the Perun AB++. We got the ETU++. And then they sent me a hybrid V2, as well as their NAS X system, which isn't really anything to do with MOSFETs, but it's an adjustable nozzle, which sounds incredibly interesting. I'll be totally honest, haven't gotten around to try it yet, but something that sounds very cool and you can really dial in your nozzle to your heart's content. We're gonna be focusing on the MOSFETs today. I kind of feel like MOSFETs are the gateway drug into uh, AEG improvements. You guys know how much I praise HPA all the time. It's the greatest thing ever, woohoo, yeah. But some people just don't like HPA or if you're kind of newer to Airsoft, I would never recommend HPA to you yet. So if you're looking for the best way to improve your AEG's reliability as well as its performance, I think a MOSFET is hands down the best way to go. And they've got some really interesting products here. Let's start with the Hybrid V2. It's kind of their flagship model here. It's the classic trigger board MOSFET. It's optical, so uh, it replaces your entire trigger system and replaces it with an optical one, which is incredibly awesome. You, you guys know we've talked about the Gate Aster and the Gate Titan before. Uh, those are the two ones that I've tried out previously, the only ones that I have experience with. And this is something very, very similar to those. So if you're kind of wondering what this is, very similar to something like a Gate Titan. But this is a bit of a cheaper option, which is nice. And if I was to do it all over again, I would hands down get this guy. I feel like with Gate, you're just kind of never done. You buy their product and then it's just like, oh, check out this other product. Oh, this one, oh, you can get this one too. Oh, this one's cool too. Oh, we just dropped this one. And it's like to get the good performance that you wanted, you kind of have to spend some more money. So I feel like this is a great option for that. Buy it once, you're good. And of course, this gives you features like your trigger sensitivity, adjusting all that the ability to use an adjustable trigger, pre-cocking, different fire modes, uh, three round burst if you want that, two round burst, one round burst, one round burst. Next we've got the AB++. This is an inline MOSFET, so it doesn't replace your trigger board, but it does give you some really nice features like battery protection. Uh, it gives you warning lights to, so that you know something is wrong in your gun, uh, three round burst, programmable fire modes, all that good stuff. Pre-cocking as well. Great option if you don't want to replace your full trigger board and you just want some nice MOSFET features. If you're rocking an older gun, this I would throw this in that and you've basically got the technology of a brand new gun in your ancient gun and you're all set. Next up, we've got the ETU++. Really excited about this one because I just got the G&G SSG1. Although I did switch that to HPA, I'm still using that gearbox in my purple gun. I've got it right behind me here. We'll talk about that soon. And uh, it's got the G&G ETU, which is the electronic trigger unit. I'm pretty sure that's what it stands for. But yeah, this basically replaces the G&G MOSFET that comes with the G2 gearboxes or even the G1 gearboxes. And it gives you a ton of features and really makes it almost like you've got the best of both worlds. You've got the electronic trigger unit and then you've got your inline MOSFET that gives you all the programmable fire modes, pre-cocking, uh, battery protection, warning lights so you can understand what's going on with your gun if something happens. All that good stuff. I think this is an amazing MOSFET and I'm really, really excited about this one. So I've been trying these out for the last little while and uh, I'll pull out my gun right now. This has kind of been the project gun right now. Um, so this is, of course, my purple camo gun. Uh, the one that we used to have the Kythera in. For those who don't know, I sold the Kythera and I got a jack. And that's now in my SSG-1, so it's kind of my speed QB gun. But yeah, so we've got the SSG-1 gearbox in here. It's a G&G gearbox. And I think it's a, an amazing gearbox. It's really snappy for the price that you'd pay. It's an incredible gearbox. I honestly think it's probably the best stock gearbox. Um, the snappiness that you can get out of it with the stock G&G SSG-1 is just incredible. I, so I felt it was a really good candidate uh, for these MOSFETs to see what we can improve upon. Um, yeah, big fan of the micro switch trigger in the G&G as well. So right now I've got the ETU++ in here and uh, yeah, it is, Honestly, really nice. A lot of you guys might be wondering why on earth we have a solid stock on here. And that's just because I've been messing around with so many wires in this thing, putting in different MOSFETs and whatnot, that a solid stock 
can be a nice luxury every once in a while to just throw the wires in and not care, all right? So we will be switching that out at some point, but that's what we're running right now. So I'm by no means a tech. Uh, I think I've made that quite clear on the channel multiple times. Um, and AEGs really aren't the most enjoyable thing for me to work on, I'll be totally honest. I, I really just don't feel comfortable taking them apart at time. But let me tell you right now, these MOSFETs, all right, have the best manual out of any MOSFET I've ever tried. Basically, they're foolproof. I mean, there's not much to the actual manual, but it's got a QR code, you scan it, you go online, and you, you, you look at the manual. I'm not typically a manual type of guy, you know? Us guys, we don't really like manuals, but this is something you're gonna want to read the manual. And they've got video tutorials, everything that you need, they've got it for installing these things. It's great, so kudos to Prune for that. If you look on the back of their manual here, their physical manual, you've got your programming sheets. And the cool thing about these is they're actually all stickers. You can just peel them off and stick them on your stock and you can be in game and just customize your gun if you want, which is super duper nice. Compared to Gate, uh, I've got to plug in my thing to a computer and diagnose any issues that I'm having or if I want to, oh man, like I accidentally have this binary set today and I really don't want binary, I want a three round burst or something then I gotta go into my computer and I gotta change it. And it's just a lot of work. But with this, I can literally just look at my sheet and program it via trigger really quickly. And it's, uh, it's really convenient. So yeah, I think these are great MOSFETs. If you're looking for something to improve the longevity of your gun or just improve the simplicity or the, you want different fire modes, all that stuff. MOSFETs are just really fun to mess around with and I think they're a great addition to any AEG. Um, honestly, if I was building another AEG, which I kind of am, it's always going to be one of my first uh, little buys and uh, improvements to the overall thing. I didn't really think that even if a gun had a MOSFET, it could really be improved upon, but the ETU++ is, I think, a great choice for sure. So I'll keep you guys up to date with how I like these MOSFETs. Uh, we'll talk about them more at a later date, I'm sure, as well as the NAS X. I really want to try out this thing. And uh, yeah, should be cool, guys. But until the next one, we'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. Cracking out. Peace.